Justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. You came to court to testify about what you heard, what you saw, and what you know. She's fair. I don't have a hearing problem. This ear works good, this one works even better. She's firm. I'm not responsible for that ticket and I'm not gonna pay for it. Who says you're not gonna pay for it? I make that decision, not you. She's honest. What you have to say? All I have to Nothing. say. <laughs> this is Justice with Judge Maybelline. Kendall Robinson is suing Ryan Jacoby in the amount of $2,575. Ms. Robinson claims she bought a car from Mr. Jacoby and says the defendant repossessed it without warning, taking her belongings with it. Mr. Jacoby claims Ms. Robinson was late with her payments and says he had the right to take the vehicle back. In the matter of Kendall Robinson versus Ryan Jacoby? Yes. You're suing him for $2,575, which is the items that you left in the vehicle that he repossessed? Yes, and along with my down payment. And the down payment you want refunded. You're counterclaiming for $1,350 for the damages done to the car that you now have to pay to have repaired. Absolutely. All right, so let's see what's going on. Ms. Robinson, let me hear from you first. Hey, I met Mr. Jacoby through my coworker, and I had recently gotten into a vehicle collision where it totaled out my car. I was explaining to her how I needed a new car and I didn't know how to get financed and stuff, so she referred me to her boyfriend. He flips cars, or I don't know what that is, but she told me I would be able to get a good deal and I should just go through him. We came to a disclosure that it would be 6,000. Disclosure, an agreement? An agreement, yes, $6,999, and I would pay $250 a month that was due on the 15th. Of each month? Yes, of each month, and I had a 15-day grace period and after the 31st, it would be considered late. And in September, I called him and I let him know that I was gonna be a little late on the payments and I had been late before and he agreed, he said it was fine. Okay, tell me when you had been late. I had been late because I had a- When, when? I was late in September. But you said I had been late before. I was late in June because I had a cell phone bill and then I had family coming, a lot of hardships just came up and I ended up being late. So you were late in June? Yes, but I paid him. Okay. And he took the payment, he received it, he said it was okay. So what about, I... What about July? July I paid. What about August? I paid in August as well. Late. That's not true. What about September? So now we're in September and you're late. September, yes. I contacted him and I let him know I was going to be late. And he said it wouldn't be a problem. So Did you tell him when you would pay? No, but I just told him I, would gonna, I was going to be a little late. Okay. And what happened? So October came. Mm-hmm. And I came out, and the payment was due on the 15th, and I came out on the 17th to no car. October? October. You never paid September? I paid September. I was trying to pay for it. No. You said you didn't pay it. You said you told him you were going to be a little late. Well, he had already took the car. She's, so. st she's still old for July and August. You can't. I don't want to talk to you yet. All right. That's not true. You said September came. I called him and told him I was going to be a little late. He took the money before. Um, he said, okay, the 15-day grace period came. The next sentence, you jumped to October. You never concluded what you did in September. September, I paid him this payment on October the 1st. Okay, so, so you paid I, it on October 1st. Yes, I did. So okay. October 17th, because my payment is due October 15th. On the 17th, I came out, and my vehicle was not there, nor were the belongings in my vehicle. And that's what and I'm what suing for him. Car? I had, I go to the gym a lot, so I have my Adidas track suit in there. I have some headphones, my gym bag. I had just bought an Adidas head bonnet. I had a lot of valuables in there. Well, you had a lot of things that you used. I guess so, I'm not gonna say it wasn't valuable, but all right. Okay, let me hear from you, Mr. Jacoby. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, I, I guess I'll start out initially and say, you know, just prematurely, she was about to go somewhere, but yet and still she's late on every payment. Um, now, moving forward, me and uh, Kendall had an agreement based on the fact that she has a good relationship with my girlfriend, Jess. Jess tells me, okay, I have a friend, she needs a car, I flip cars, and that's how she categorizes it, but what it is is I go to an auction, I buy the car at a cheaper price, and then I resell the car to make a profit. I fix them up, I'm a mechanic, that's you know what I am by trade, so that's how I got into the car flipping business, as she uh, puts it, so. Okay, so you purchase them at Leans and Salvage? 
Yeah, well, I pr yeah, at you know the auction. I don't know if it's at the auctions. Yeah, at the okay. auctions. So, this particular car, I actually did. I purchased it in February, and it came around that she needed a car in March. So we actually made this deal in March. The 15-day grace period was based on the fact that she's friends with Jess. So I'm trying to actually look out for her. But inside the same contract, which I have my copy right here, it explicitly states that if she's late three times or more, I can take the car whenever, however, for it whatever say reasons. Yes, it however does. In it the says contract. Whenever. I have my copy as so well. So she, she talks about hardships and she talks Wait, about she's having. Wait a second. Yeah. Just stop talking when he's talking, okay? Please. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. That's wow. why he ratchetly repossessed my car because I would not give him the time of day. Well, she's going on I trips thought, and wait, she wait, can't wait, pay stop, her bills. Stop, stop. You guys are getting silly now. And I said to you nicely, do not talk when he's talking. Sorry. Justice with Judge Maybelline. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Kendall Robinson, who is suing Ryan Jacoby for wrongful repossession. Now you can hand the bailiff your copy. Now I can talk, read, and listen all at the same time, but I'm the only one in here can do that. Thank you, Will. It should be the same contract, because if they're different, then something's wrong. I have my copy, I have my copy. Go on, keep talking. Okay, so. What happened is, Kendall, she took advantage of the fact that I was being nice and I was being kind, giving her this 15-day grace period. But the 15-day grace period doesn't include be late every time it's time to pay. So she's, she paid on time in April. Here comes May. She's late. She pays on the 25th. It's within that grace period. Okay, and it's the first time. I let that go. Then here we go in June. She's late again, and she doesn't pay that payment until July 1st. And I'm even okay with that. I take that hit. Now, that's technically late. But July and August comes around, she doesn't pay at all. She's calling me, and she's, she's trying to explain that she's going to have the payment, but I really don't want to hear anything other than where's the payment. I give her time. I get my girlfriend just to speak to her because I had talked to her previously on the phone one of the times. She cussed me out. You know, she called me some names. She told me I was funny looking and things like that. So... I hung the phone up on her, and I told my girl, Jess, I said, hey, you probably need to talk to your homegirl. She's getting out, out of pocket. She talks to her. I call her on the 1st of September. That's not true. She tells me, I'm going to give you money the next day. Her next day is different than everybody else's next day because I didn't hear from her until September 20th. So I don't understand what kind of next day she has. But that was only to sell the bill on the July and August. She still didn't so pay September. September 20th, she paid July and August? On September 20th, she paid for the July and August. She still owed September. So I, I informed Kendall, if you're late again in October, I'm going to have to repo the car. So this was understood. It was an understood thing. She's habitually late. And, you know, personally, it's my opinion, but one of the times that she was late, you know, she was supposed to call, she actually FaceTimed me when she couldn't get in contact with me. She FaceTimed me, and it was like, it was like a racy type of FaceTime, if, if I might say so myself. So she was, like, trying to, like, smooth me over so that I wouldn't <laughs> take the car. That's so not true, Your Honor. I actually hung up on her on that instance That's as well. That's why he ratchetly repossessed my car, because I would not give him the time of day. Well, she's going on I trips, thought, and wait, she wait, can't wait, pay her bills. Stop, bill. stop. You guys are getting silly now. And I said to you nicely, do not talk. When he's talking, Sorry. the only person that talks at the same time is me, and you butt in again. Now, be quiet, please. All right? But now, I, uh, that little racy stuff, okay, fine. She tried to swoo you into not doing it. That's what you're saying. She denies it. But now, Miss, I have a question of Miss Robinson. You said, I paid July and I paid August, but you never said I paid it in September late. He's paid up until... Did you pay July and August payment in September? I did. Well, you kind of conveniently left that out. He's paid up. Um, no, he's not. And the document, the contract does say if you're more than, late more than three payments, then he reserves the right to repossess it at any given time. You said it didn't say that. It's clearly there he in said, paragraph three. Reserves the right to pick it up at any given time. So that means whenever, wherever. 
I was when only it's more late. than three payments late. I was only late one time. He gave me a 15-day grace period. No, no, no. In Greece, no. you're late one time. I don't know about United if States. You're, if you paid July's note in August, in September, and you paid August's note in September, that's two times late, because that's two notes due. And it's still and not And you three. already paid late in June. That's three times. One, June. July, two. August, three. One, two, three. That's three times. Now... Here's September, you're catching up on July and August, but you still haven't paid September's note. So September's note is late too, so that's four. Then October's note was due on the 1st. He didn't repossess the card to the 17th. That's but he five. had his money by the 1st. He had all of his money by the 1st. He had July and August by the 1st. When did you pay September's note? I paid September, August 1st. I mean, October 1st. So you paid all three of those. Yes, he was paid. You paid up. September, August first. No, she didn't pay September. She paid July and August. She's actually a habitual liar. When he repossessed, but the point. No, the point is he possessed under the clause. Repossessed under the clause more than three times late. So he had the right to repossess. You were more than three times late. June, July, August. But he was paid up. All of my payments you were, were more than three times late. And it can be repossessed at any time. That's the clause. And in September, you paid that one late. You paid that October 1st. The 15 days ended September 30th. You can count pretty well. I can count very okay. well, Your Honor. So the 15 days ended October 1st. So when he, by the time he repossessed the car, you were still late. Okay? So, but here's the question I have on this repossession. And it also says that you're not entitled to your uh, down payment back when it's repossessed. And that's in every automobile contract. You have, this is not the first time you bought a car, is it? No, it's not. I don't know any bank that lets you be late that many times on a car without repossessing it. And, I, and every finance company has a clause that they can repossess your car when you're late on the payment or no payment at all. And they do not give you any notice. Why would they say, hey, I'm coming to get your car? I was paid up, though. Okay, I'm not going to argue. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. It says car sale. Because once she, paid, once she paid it all up, it was going to be sold. No, hun. You, you, you know what? If you go get in this game, you better get in it right and you better understand the law. Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Kendall Robinson, who is suing Ryan Jacoby for wrongful repossession. What kind of notice did you give her of the intent to repossess? The, the notices were the conversations we had from the previous three times she was late. So she understood. I, I, I told her that I was playing hardball after this point. I'm going to come get the car. I think that she thought that it was a joke. So I actually gave her one more day. She didn't pay on the 15th. I gave her October 16th. Still no call, no show. So what I did is I sent the repo guy out. Okay. When did you file your lien? Well, I actually own the car. I bought the car from the auction full out. I can't, you know, lien the car because I actually own the car. So as she said, I flip cars. What so that's mean my you flip. Own the car? So I'm the like car a car is lot. In your name? Yeah, I'm like a car lot. That's not like a car lot. The car lot puts the car in my name, and they are the lien holder. Well, I've when been I buy a in the car past. off the car mm. lot and I get it financed, the car goes in my name as the registered owner with the lien holder's name as the lien holder, which says they are the ones who really own the car until this car is paid off. But the registered owner goes in the name of the person who's buying the car. You're telling me that you kept the registration in your name? Well, I'm not Toyota. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing it exactly how car dealerships well, do it. Well, then don't try to tell me that. Well, I mean, I'm, I was just explaining to you, Your Honor, how the process went So you kept the car in your name? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, you just leasing the car to her. It I mean, you just renting the car to her. It was a lease to own. It was a rent. It was a, she could have owned the car once she paid it all, if in full, but I wasn't giving her no registration, no title, because well, you see what she does. You already well, see how she Well, according to your moves. contract, it says contract of sale. It says car sale. Because once she, paid, once she paid it all up, it was going to be sold. No, hun. You, you, you know what? If you go get in this game, you better get in it right and you better understand the law. Coming up. This is how the car looked when it was in my possession. I think she's in possession of like a Photoshop picture. I actually seen a glimpse a of Photoshop. it. A Photoshop? When I looked over there. Okay, yeah. now you guys, you're getting to be ridiculous. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. 
We're back with the case of Kendall Robinson, who is suing Ryan Jacoby for wrongful repossession. If you're gonna keep a car in your possession, and you're gonna rent it to people by the day, by the week, by the month for them to use, and they pay you oh, so, so many dollars per month, and then at the end of that, you're gonna turn it over to them, then that's what it should say. This says car sale, sale, S-A-L-E, car sale contract, which means you're selling it. And if you're selling a car, you have to abide by the Michigan laws for the sales of cars, and you also have to abide by the Michigan law for the repossession of cars if you're selling a car, and you did neither. So this is a matter of wordplay. Call it whatever you want to call it. It's not a repossession because the car is in your name. You are now paid up to October, right? Yeah, yes. late. You're now paid up. You've damaged the car. So what's late? You've damaged the car. I did not damage his car. Well, somehow it got damaged while it was in your possession. When was it damaged? I have the, I have the uh, damages right here. Do you have right pictures? Here. This is how the car looked when it was in my possession. I think she's in possession of like a Photoshop picture. I actually seen a glimpse a of Photoshop. it. A Photoshop? When I looked over there, Okay, yeah. now you guys, you're getting to be ridiculous. When you got the car from her in October, you should have had a picture it, of it. And when he got the car, you should have had a picture. You should know what condition that car was in. Yeah, because I don't, I, that doesn't even look like the car I sold her. Have what do you mean look like the car? Have should have a license that number. I, have? I see it from over here. Wow. And you can see that it's Photoshop. Isn't it, it nice look. that they have a picture and showing that this is the car with just one side showing and no Thank license number you. and nothing to identify what the whose Thank card you. is? Thank There's you. no identification of that. Judge Maybelline's verdict when justice with Judge Maybelline returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. Well, you can show him. Is that the car? That you saw? It absolutely doesn't look like the car. Wow, I saw that pristine okay. looking car. It wasn't. No. But at least he has a car that's described as yours and the same type of car and the model number and the engine number. But it says that's what a body repair is, is. But it doesn't say that I did the damage. The tow truck guy could have did it when he was oh. hauling my car off. You guys are getting silly. So now that the car is damaged, you want it back? I'll take it. Yes, I will take the okay. car. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do to clean it all up and to do it right. You're going to give her the car back, number one. And when you give it back to her, you're going to give it back to her registered in her name. You're going to write yourself as the lien holder, as holding the note, because she's going to continue to pay it to you. And if she doesn't pay it to you, then you have the right to repossess it. You're going to give her back her items. It's her car. If she wants to repair the damages, she has the damages repaired on her own. $250 a month, the 15th of each month, Three-day grace period, any day after that is subject to repossession. Okay. You, and so you need to go catch up, brush up on the law if you're going to be in the car sales business. Yeah, actually. You have to give her a time period to redeem it, even though she's late. Okay. And you can charge her all those repossession charges and the tow service and all of that. She won't pay, but okay. Well, but you don't have to give it back to her when, once you repossess. Okay. All right? Okay. That's the order of the court. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to give the plaintiff her belongings back and her car under more favorable terms. I like what the judge said. I really want to keep the car. I want you to keep the car and I want you to keep paying for the car. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.